All right, what's up guys? Welcome back. So today, we're gonna work on the car. Weird. Uh, as you can see, I do have some things taken apart on the car. I did take the, the water pump off, power steering pump, all that stuff. So what I'm gonna do today and what I've been looking at is uh, how I'm gonna do the oil drains. I'm pretty sure I have an idea of how I wanna do the drains uh, for the turbos. So I originally was really not wanting to drill or do anything to the oil pan. I didn't want to modify the oil pan. So I was trying to come up over here, but it's just really difficult with the way the, the belt is wrapped to go from here, pretty much straight across down to there. So I did some measurements with the dipstick and where the oil fill uh, level line is on the dipstick and what I'm gonna do now is basically come straight into this section here on the oil pan and straight into the section here on the other side of the oil pan so using using this line here this will be approximately what it's gonna look like so the way I'm gonna do it is I bought some stainless steel bungs dash 10 bungs to weld in here so I'll probably go a little bit higher, actually. I'm not gonna go that low. I'll probably go towards the high end. But I bought some stainless steel bungs. This is a steel pan. So what I'm gonna try to do is drill the hole and then weld them completely from the inside so I don't even have to clean the material on the outside, the powder coat material. So I feel like if I do it the right way and I don't have a lot of heat input on the back side of the weld, I should be able to weld that bung in there cleanly without bubbling any of the powder coat and then it would just have a nice stainless steel bung sticking out of it so that's the plan we'll see how that goes i think what i want to do today is weld some a and bungs on here because i have a bunch of these things these are just dash 10 bungs so i have well maybe not a bunch but several of these brand new bungs so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the heater lines out I'm just gonna do a dash 10 on both I know this is normally a bigger size that's probably the right size this one should be a little bit bigger but I, I'm not really gonna worry about it I'm gonna yank these things out and I'm gonna try to weld them on so kind of stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit here with the TIG welding uh, so I'm gonna do the best I can. I guess I'm stepping out of my comfort zone because it's on a, a pretty critical piece. So if I mess it up, I possibly have run the risk of damaging, you know, the pump or warping some stuff. So it's gonna be a little bit more than what I'm used to, but we'll see how it goes. And hopefully it turns out well. This is how we learn. Alrighty guys, so this may or may not be rocket science here, but uh, I was going to use a torch, and I was going to get this thing really hot, and then try to pull these things out. Uh, but what I did was I used a, just a little pipe wrench. I'm like, oh, I think I'm going to use a pipe wrench, and then see if I can get it hot, and just, just twist these things out. So I put the pipe wrench on it, and I leaned on it a little bit, and it just, like, twists inside of here. So... If I'm gonna pull this thing out, it's coming out a little bit. But maybe this is a, a simple, simple tools thing. I'm just kind of pushing out on it as I'm twisting. And it's out quite a bit already. without using heat. Granted, this is a, it's not a, I don't know if it's a factory. I don't think it's a factory uh, pump. It was a cheap eBay pump that I bought, so that might have something to do with this. But, yeah, just a few, few twists and pulling on it. Pull the whole thing out. So that's interesting. Very, very cool. Very nice, nice and clean. We'll flip it over. Let's try the other guy. Yeah, I can turn that by hand now. Look at that. Huh. 
I wonder if it's just because it's an aftermarket pump, like it's not a factory pump. I would hope that the, the stock GM pumps aren't that bad. But I guess if they're, I guess if it's tight and it holds fluid, it should be fine. But it seemed like they came out pretty easily. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna clean up uh, this whole surface to the best of my abilities. And then we'll try to weld these bungs on. So this one's a little bit larger, so I might be able to uh, grind this down and get it to sit inside there. But this one, I might actually try to do, I guess I don't have to use that. I might try to run it up a little bit higher just because of how the exhaust placement is or at a little bit of an angle. So either way, it should be fine, but that's what my plan is. All right, ladies, we're gonna do a, a excuse me, gentle ladies. We're gonna do a top secret unboxing here. This is, this is an exciting day because as you can see, and I'll show you guys, I haven't opened this box yet and the, the ship date was July 6th, 2018. And today is, and today is April 28th, 2019. And a lot of you guys, when I'm doing TIG welding, you're like, hey, dude, you should do this. Ugh. And I've had this thing sitting around, this kit sitting around. And I've just never, I've just never opened it. So you guys that have been saying like, hey, get a gas lens set. Get a gas lens set, get a gas lens set. I've had it, I've had it guys, <laughs> since July of last year, just sitting on the shelf. So I never really did it. So I think what I'm gonna do is open it up and I'm gonna put it on and then we're gonna use it to weld this thing. Okay, so the, uh, gas lens setup that I was trying to do didn't work at all because the the set that I have doesn't fit inside the torch so I wasn't able to do that so I'm back to what I had before uh, it's a number six cup just a regular number six cup Dad, do you know any way that we could block this out the way? Fill it with mud? All right, guys. So the thing with TIG welding is there's a lot of a lot of setup. Everything needs to be really clean. Everything needs to be. It, it takes a lot longer to set up. It's not like just grabbing a gun, TIG welder or a MIG welder, and just and you're done in two minutes. A lot of setup, especially with aluminum, it takes a bit. It takes a long time to set it up, and um, yeah, got to be really clean. So. Scratch it with the stainless brush. I use some acetone on it. I'm going to try to get it set up to where I can put the clamp on this piece and then tack it because aluminum can't really use a, a magnet. So, can be kind of tricky to tack, at least from what I've found. It's a little tricky to tack. Like steel, steel likes to kind of melt together, where aluminum likes to pull away. So I think it's probably more to do with the AC current. It's just kind of like, yeah, pulls everything apart. So we'll toss another tack on here.
almost thought I was going to be able to get that one without a, without a dab. But it wasn't. So these are on. This one is higher, offset, just like I want it. and weld it. We're, we'll start to do some welds. cell phone clip because I'm irresponsible and my battery's dead on the camera. So what I'm doing at this point right now is kind of focusing on this AC line here. So what I did was chop the end of it off and I'm kind of, like I said, stepping out of my comfort zone and I'm going to weld some more bungs on. So I'm going to go with the idea that someone suggested. I can't think of the, the name of the person right now or their channel name. But they suggested just weld AN fittings onto the other thing. So so I'm going to try that. And I did price out this fitting. This line here is like 20 bucks. So I think they're like $24 on eBay. So if I do ruin it, I'm not really that worried about it. And then this thing I'll be able to plug right in to the AC condenser with the AN bung on one side. And then I'm going to take another bung and I'm going to weld it right on to the other side here. So basically I'll be able to use the factory line, convert it to AN, put the AN wherever I want it, and plug this right into the condenser. So that's the plan. I only have one bung right now. Uh, so I'm gonna practice on this one, and if it works out, okay. I'm gonna order another bung, and we'll finish it up that way. All right guys, so it worked, kinda, but it didn't really work. So what, I happened, what happened was, I uh, wasn't really thinking about how much heat transfer I was getting, so I did, you know, one weld. So I did like one weld, and then I rotated it, did another weld, and I probably did like 15 dabs, and then I, I wasn't thinking about heat transfer, and then I ended up, you know, basically melting the hose out of it. So what I'm doing now, because we're just kind of playing with this, right? So chop that off, chop this off. This is the part that actually connects right to the AC compressor. So no rubber holes. So what I'm gonna try to do now, cause I was able to use the bandsaw and cut this thing off and pop the other piece that I welded right out of it. Nice slice with the bandsaw. And what I'm gonna try to do now is I'm gonna wrap a wet towel around it just cause there's like an O-ring and other, other stuff over here. So just for some practice, I'm going to try to just do like a couple dabs and then let it cool, rotate it, do a couple, not have so much heat transfer, uh, just to practice. All right, guys, so this is what we got, and that's what I'm going to go with. I feel like I might have gotten everything. I just know how aluminum can be with all the pinholes and stuff, so I'm kind of worried about it because it's going to be a... A pressure line so like that right there is probably gonna be a leak I just found that on the video so I don't know I might go I've been kind of go over, going over these and booger in some more weld on it just because I feel like it's gonna leak but I don't know we'll try it see what it does all right guys so we're back plugging away on this thing again started working on the intercooler piping so I got the intercooler in and I have the two 
coming into the one so that's how I'm gonna be doing this setup a lot of you guys are asking I was gonna do the two on this side and the single on this side that's just how my brain wanted it but I think I'm gonna do it the other way because of the AC lines and I'm gonna run the one of the AC lines through this section so I only want to have one pipe coming over here kind of declutter it a little bit this line is hooked up this line is cut and I'm gonna weld another AN bung on there when I get this thing and I'll show you this in a little bit so uh, what else do we do in this video so started working on the intercooler piping I welded that one I want to show you that I'm proud of that uh, it's the first time I've ever TIG welded aluminum pipe like intercooler pipe and it actually turned out pretty decent so I'm pumped about that it gives me a little bit more confidence with the TIG to be able to do aluminum and thin material especially so I'll take this thing off here these were the other bungs that I welded onto the water pump so I did weld that one on up a little bit higher these are for the heater lines so that should work pretty well as long as it doesn't leak the other bung is down on this side welded onto the AC line right there so I'm gonna build like a pressure test unit make sure these things don't leak and then my plan is to use like a PTFE line or a nylon lined line and come basically out of there where that other bung was and run that line up to here I'm gonna weld the bung onto this and then have a 90 that comes down and I'll be able to run it straight down and then back to the other side of the the AC stuff and that should work pretty decent like I said got a little bit more confidence after welding that first piece I'll take it out now and I'll show you guys but you know, little things starting to come together and I feel like I'm enjoying this because I'm kind of taking my time a little bit more on stuff and not just trying to rush it to get it going I'm actually at this point thinking about how I can do stuff the right way that's going to make me happy about it instead of just how do we get it done as fast and cheap as possible to make it work so I'm going to pull that pipe out and I'll show you guys so kind of along with uh, you know taking my time on things a little bit more I I'm also challenging myself quite a bit here because I like never welded a water pump uh, I was worried about welding the AC lines so those might still leak and Freon is likes to seep through stuff easily from what I've been researching and I really want to make sure that those lines don't leak so I'm kind of worried about that but like I said in another video I was low on the totem pole but it ended up being one of the first things that I worked on so ah, so got this thing out and Check that out guys. So basically what I what I did with this piece, this is coming out of the turbo and this is coming over but the other turbo is in the way. So I have this kind of 45 down, 45 back over. So it clears underneath the other 90 degree coupler. So instead of going behind it or in front of it, I'm just going right underneath it. So I wanted to do this weld. I was nervous about this. It took me uh, several tries just to get it to tack. Uh, just trying to figure out the, you know, the grind on the tungsten and the amperage and all that good stuff. So it, I got it together and it actually welded pretty decent. So I'm really happy with this for my first time doing uh, aluminum pipe. And it gives me a lot of confidence to do the other stuff because I'm not going to be so limited to using couplers and... Uh, the pipes that were supplied with the kit and as and you know again it just opens up the doors for a lot of other things so happy I'm challenging myself and kind of doing some things that I wouldn't normally do instead of just taking the easy way out like I feel like with the manifolds I kind of started that way and I had an idea of maybe using stainless which I might go back to now after doing all this other stuff I can always just pull them out and rebuild something after I get it going but yeah so a little pumped, a little, a little ass-sighted. And the overall idea down here with the two <clears throat> is this one's coming out of the top turbo and then that other line pipe or whatever is gonna come out pretty much right here, right next to it. So this one I'm gonna have to angle up or maybe cut and have come up because of the spacing on the intercooler. But these are basically gonna come out, you know, something, something like this. 
and they're probably going to be in a little bit farther and then I'm going to have to cut them off here. But that's the idea to get them to come over. And then the single one I'm just going to be able to wrap back around and then connect it right to here. So this driver's side turbo comes right over the front underneath the other one. The two pipes come out here through the intercooler back around this side into that pipe into the snap maker. That's it for this one guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. <laughs>